Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. The beta opened up on the 3rd, even though somehow I was able to play it on the 2nd on Thursday, but that's besides the point. And it's been running ever since. It's still available to play now, it seems. I thought they were originally going to have it just going for the weekend, but I guess they're... I don't know. I don't know when they're going to end the beta. Like From what I saw, it was the 3rd to the 5th, and it is now the 6th. And I can still launch the game and play it, so I don't really know what's going on in that regard. Anyway, I want to actually talk about this game in detail from what I've seen so far. Because what I've seen from E3 trailers and like all their like walkthroughs of their game already had me concerned. Considering I was already a fan of the series, to a degree. All right, like I actually enjoyed Sniper Ghost Warrior. The first one, I played it on the Xbox 360. The second one, I have it on PC. I actually even made a video for that a while back, like a long time ago. And uh, then I repurchased Sniper Ghost Warrior 1 on PC as well. And I actually really enjoyed them, regardless of the fact that City Interactive is known for making kind of budget, like, low-end quality games. And Sniper Ghost Warrior was pretty much that. You know, the animations, the voice acting, all that was kind of, like, very low budget and just not very good. But the core gameplay itself was very enjoyable and I actually had fun playing it, especially the multiplayer at the time. And considering they were going open world this time around, it kind of made me concerned with, okay, how is it going to play out? I mean, there's a lot of potential for an open world type of sniper simulation game. The problem, though, is that this game fails to do sniping in a realistic manner. And I'm going to explain that a little bit later. But first, let's just talk about... One of my all-time biggest gripes when it comes to open-world stealth-based games. Now, of course, this looks and plays a lot like a Far Cry game. Like, there's no disputing that. It has more realistic sniping and whatever. But it still suffers from most of the issues of open-world stealth games, whereas you shoot one guy, like you saw at the beginning of the video, which he, he didn't even spot me. I shot him with a suppressed pistol in the head, and suddenly all the fucking enemies in the entire vicinity know where I am. And they all start coming right to me, which is just ridiculous. And I find that incredibly off-putting when it comes to open-world games. I'm sorry, but if I shoot someone, even if I had a loud-ass 50 cal, and I started engaging a target, like, 300 to 400, 500 meters away, and I killed somebody, they would have absolutely no idea where I am. They wouldn't be able to pinpoint me with 100% precision and be like, Oh, there he is on the hill, three mils to the right, 500 meters away, like... What? No, that does not happen. That can't happen, alright? I have personal, real experience shooting at people, well, not like, you know, in a simulated environment, <laughs> training, shooting at people with a rifle, loud as shit, within 100 meters. I was hiding in a defilade behind a tree, and they couldn't even find me. They literally walked over top of my position as I was shooting them. You know, that's why it always bugs me when I see in games... You know, you kill one guy, especially with a suppressed firearm, and suddenly everyone knows where you are, and they run, start running to your position, dropping mortars on your position, all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's really, really, really annoying, you know? It's incredibly frustrating and incredibly unrealistic, and it just completely takes away from the fact that, hey, I am a sniper sitting on this hill in a concealed position where no one's going to see me, have any idea what the hell's going on, and suddenly I take out one guy, and then everyone knows where I am within, like, a 30-kilometer radius. It's just, it's... It's ridiculous. Now, they have worked over the a the AI a little bit. Like, they updated the uh, the beta. I think it was on the 4th on Saturday. And it seems to improve things a little bit, but still not nearly enough. Like, the AI needs a total conversion in my mind. Like, they need to really just get them behaving realistically. Like, it's absolutely necessary for these type of games. But another problem I want to kind of address, which has been a common complaint from a lot of people, which is strange because performance seems to be widely different for the vast majority of people that have played this game so far. For me, it's actually been pretty good. And you, you can actually see my frame rate. It's been, it's stuck at 60 frames per second. It's, it was very smooth to play. Like I had no qualms, no problems whatsoever with the performance until, until I'd scope in with a sniper rifle. The second I would actually scope in with a sniper rifle, my frame rate would tank to 45 to 30 for a split second or for a few seconds. And then once the scope is fully like, zoomed in, suddenly the frame rate jumps back up to 60. That is incredibly annoying. 
Anyone who's ever played a game where it just stutters and hitches like that really, really hard during critical moments, like trying to scope in and observe targets, like that really disconnects you from the game and it's just very disorienting and just, it cannot happen. But some people have 1080s, like NVIDIA 1080s, GTX 1080. I have a 1070. And people are just reporting like performance problems across the board, just having like really low performance for some reason. Like I said, my specs are on my channel. I have like eight gigs of RAM, you know, 2133 megahertz. I have a G, uh, an i5 6600K overclocked to 4.4 and I have a GTX 1070. And I, you can see in the video, I'm getting flawless performance for the most part, but there are definitely frame drops and I have V-Sync on, so keep that in mind. I had V-Sync turned on and it made no difference if I turned it off. I tested that. I turned off V-Sync to see if the stuttering still happened upon scoping in. It still does. Just the difference is the frame rate's higher, but the hitching is exactly the same. It's not like the frame rate's higher and it dips and then it's somehow acceptable. It's almost like it drops to zero frames per second is the best way I can describe it, regardless of your frame rate. And it just, it stutters and it hitches and it's very off-putting and annoying. But now let's actually talk about the sniping because this is something that I think obviously is very important when it comes to a game like this. And this is something I saw and actually commented in a video a long time ago when they showed off their gameplay, which I criticized right off the bat because it was just so stupidly inaccurate and not real at all. And this is something that the sniper games have always suffered from because they always try to depict, you know, wind, you know, the Coriolis effect and like all the other governing factors of nature that impact the way your bullet will tr like travel through the air, the trajectory of your round. The problem is Sniper Ghost Warrior over-exaggerates that to a point where it's like, it's just obscene because that's not how a bullet behaves. Like an example in the original Sniper Ghost Warrior and Sniper Ghost Warrior 2, if you played on a lower difficulty, there'd be like a little red circle that would show you where your bullet's actually going to land. And if you were aiming at a target 200 meters away, that circle, just based on the wind, would like adjust it like full, full inches, like left and right. I'm talking inches relative to the target. On your screen, it would actually be moving like a few, like within a centimeter. It'd just be like with a centimeter squared, that would be moving on your freaking scope, which is ludicrous. No amount of wind is going to alter a bullet's trajectory by like a, like a few meters at 200 meters. Like it just doesn't make any sense. And on top of that, they also have the problem with scopes, where the magnification isn't accurately represented. In the demo that they were showing at the time, the preview, he zoomed into a 20 times, or it was a, I think it was a 12 times scope, and he was aiming at a target 100 meters away, and it looked like a 4 times ACOG. What I, what I mean is basically when you're looking at someone through a 4 times magnified optic at 100 meters, that's what it looked like. But in the game, it said 1200, or 12 times magnification or 24 times magnification, it doesn't make any sense. You have any idea how crazy 24 times magnification is? You can zoom right up to a target, like 600 meters away and have him clearly visible. Like his whole body would almost fit in the, in the actual scope itself within the lens. But in this game, I can zoom in 24 times on a target, 100, 200, 300 meters away, and he doesn't even fill in the scope. In real life, 24 times magnification at a target 200 meters away, his entire head would fill in the entire scope, is my point. So the magnification isn't accurately represented. And I noticed that back then, and I criticized, and I even showed pictures, because you can actually look online, you can see what a 4 times magnified optic looks like at a figure 11 target, at 100 meters, at 200 meters, at 300 meters, and you can see it. Basically, 24 times in this game is equal to 4 times in real life, which is just, again, completely retarded. And the fact that every single engagement in this game so far that I've ex I've played is 100 to 200 meters. So the main problem with this game is the fact that every it's a sniper game, but you're shooting at ranges that a regular soldier with iron sights can engage at really effectively and get like insanely good groupings. A sniper game, you're expecting to be making those kind of adjustments for targets out to like a thousand meters. And unfortunately, you're not. Everything is within like 200 meters. So what's the, what's the point of even having a scope, especially one with 24 times magnification? It makes no sense. It's completely ludicrous and obscene. But anyway, other than that, the game is actually some solid fun. I mean, let's just take away all the problems, all the bugs it has, and all the, like, the little gameplay quirks and issues I have with it. And it's actually decently fun. Then I'm going to upload a video. It's like 45 minutes long where I played through the beginning, did the first two missions all the way to the end in one go, 45 minutes. And I'm going to upload that, like, unedited, so you can see what the game actually looks like in real time, played with the sound and everything, without my voice interrupting what's going on. And you're going to get to see 
just what it looks like because it actually is fun and satisfying to play. The graphics aren't the best, but it kind of did remind me of Velen from like The Witcher 3 running through the swamps and stuff. And uh, it, it felt kind of interesting and fun to play, but it's still just not a true sniper simulation game. It's kind of like an exaggerated game. It's like, oh yeah, you're sniping at a target 100 meters away. Compensate like you're engaging a target two kilometers away. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It just, they need to work on that or something. I will be probably picking up this game and I will be reviewing it in the future. I'm assuming we'll see. But that's pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. My name is Pepperbelly. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I'll see you guys on the next one.